Greeting streamers. Today we're going to show you another great app for your Fire Stick and Fire TV devices. But before, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications, and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. So we're going to use the App Store, the official App Store available on all of your Fire TV and Fire Stick devices, and we're going to look for an app which is called Stash TV. We do apologize for blurring the images, but we have to do so in order to avoid any copyright strikes from YouTube because it's against their policies. So again, I do apologize for that. You will find a lot of blurring within the video, but it's just to stay on the safe side and that we do not get the video taken down by YouTube. So the Stash TV app is mostly composed by independent content or movies and TV shows that are sponsored through advertising. All the content is free. Uh, yes, you might find some titles that are not typical or usual from the major brand streaming apps or devices or channels, I'm sorry, but again, there's a lot of hidden gems there that you can watch and enjoy. So let's go and download it. It's very simple to do. Just hit the download and it will download directly to your favorite Fire device. So it's very simple. We're not going to spend a lot of time explaining how to do so because it's very intuitive. intuitive. I'm sorry, so it shouldn't be more complicated than that. Once the app is installed, we're going to go through it and show you some of the main features. Something very important to be aware of is that all of the content is in English. However, there is some international content from other regions of the world, which will be in its original language, but you will get closed captions in English. So that's something very good if you only speak English. And if you want content in other languages, well, I'm sorry, but it's very limited. So take that into account. Most of it is in all in English. So let's go and see if we can finish installing it and we will open the app. Something very important to point out is that the app is being constantly updated. So you will always find more and more content, but the way it is organized, is not the best one because you don't have a counter on each one of the categories. I will show you real quick what we're talking about. So let's load the video and load the app to see how fast it loads. As you can see, we're running it on 40 megabytes here via Wi-Fi. We do have to blur the images, you know, again, I'm sorry about that, but that's a rule that we have to comply with. And I know a lot of people complain about that, but if we do not do so, the videos get taken down. Now, answering the question of many of you that are always pointing out why we're showing some of these apps it's because there's a lot of content that is now being produced for some of these devices. So if it's free and it's independent, you can try it for free so you don't have to spend money. And it's a good way to divert from the main media like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, HBO, and others, which are paid services. These are free and you will find some independent content that is very tailored or interesting for you. So let's go and show you what we mean with the categories. As you can see, we have different categories or genres for the content, but you do not see a counter that tells you how many movies or TV shows are for that category. So that might be an issue because you will have to continue browsing until you, you reach either the end or you just get tired before doing so. And again, there's a lot of content, mostly independent content. So you will not find a lot of advertising, but you will find some. And also some movies will be sponsored through uh, movie funds from certain regions or certain countries. So do take that into account. This is not like many popular uh, Hollywood movies for ma from major producers. These are mostly independent. So do remember that and it might have to do with the quality of the video as well. And also you might find some very important or well-known actors in some of the movies, but in, not in all of them. So let's go and check this one out. This is a movie from Canada and you will notice that it loads pretty quickly. And we're going to show you how to enable the closed captions. When you hit the play button, you will notice that it pops like a small menu on the bottom. You just click on the closed captions or CC symbol and it will enable the closed captions where it will be on English. So again, remember that because all of the content is in English, the closed captions will be in English. Even the movies that are from other regions in other languages will have closed captions on English. So let's go and check out a little bit more of what is, what's available. In certain genres, for instance, drama is one of the ones of, of those genres that had a lot, has a lot of movies, and you will just keep on browsing until you get tired. Again, that's one thing that we do suggest for them to improve. I mean, to add a counter, like you have seen in many of our other videos, 
where we show you that they do have counters to let you know on which movie of the entire catalog you are uh, right now. It doesn't happen on this app, so that's something that can be improved. But again, it takes some time and effort, and yes, you can make your comments when you download the app and review it, and that's something good from Amazon because they those comments do reach the content developer, so they can take into account that issue and solve it. But again, it all depends on your feedback, so that's very important. So again, as you can see, that's a Spanish movie. It, it's, it's called El Dorado, but most of it is from the US, Canada, English-speaking countries, so you will find a lot of content on English. So if you're in the States, or in an English speaking country, you will definitely enjoy this application. And the best of all, you can try it for free. It's not expensive. You don't have to pay anything for it. So if you are looking for more content on your streaming devices, this is definitely, definitely an option. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments are always welcome. We try to reply to all of them. So we do apologize if we do not do it on a timely matter but we just get so many comments on many of our videos that it's very difficult to keep up. So again, thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and goodbye.